Okay, I finally have the micro bit reading letters from the keyboard that is might being scanned by a PSOC 4 underneath this card. This display is just a diagnostic display that's displaying characters that are read by the PSOC 4. It's connected directly to the PSOC 4 and then the PSOC 4 makes those characters available to the micro bit which is using SPI to get the characters from the PSOC 4 and display them on the screen. This scope is just set up to look at the data. This is the clock and this is the chip select for the PSOC 4 and the data would appear here. I've set it up to decode ASCII so if I turn this on it boots up and if I press a character this should be a Q you would see it briefly flash here um, let me just press a few characters to show that it's reading them all so that's one line of characters um, I can set the scope up to trigger on a particular uh, serial data stream, a pattern. Uh, in this case I'm going to set it up to, to trigger on capital A. So that would be this button. And you can see that it indeed triggered on A and captured the A, which was displayed on these two displays. So let's reset the trigger. To just trigger on any old bit pattern. Um, That's not really going to do much because it's just going to briefly flash when I type in a letter. But uh, let's just see what characters I've got. So I've got a, across the top exclamation mark, at sign, number sign, dollar sign, percent, ampersand star brackets and let's go to the next one we just did the QWERTY one so let's do the A and the last row of letters would be Z, X That's it. So we have a pretty full keyboard here. We can display some punctuation, some special characters, and of course all the letters and all the numbers. Oh, I didn't do numbers. Let's do that. So that would be the second row here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So all the characters. It's been a long journey trying to get the micro bit to actually read these letters and incredibly tedious trying to get all of the pixels in every character mapped properly. The micro bit doesn't have a lot of RAM and I had started out by programming um, a lot of these characters to be variables and trying to print from that and I I got up to about a 100 lines of code 
which got me letters A through P with no numbers before I ran out of memory and it took quite a bit of time to figure out that was the problem and that I had to somehow store these uh, font characters and, and bitmaps in uh, the flash memory somehow so I ended up just saving them in line with inline code which uh, I don't normally do but in this case that's the only way well that's the simplest way to do it so it uh, actually works out pretty well just to use inline code and store everything right in line with the with the program so the next step is to see if we have enough RAM left to do the Bluetooth stack it is actually supposed to take up most of the RAM by itself and I need a little bit so we'll see that's gonna be the next challenge if the Bluetooth can't run there we can still run the radio with a simpler stack than the Bluetooth stack but uh, we'll see how it goes